Welcome to the Awakening Energy. As always, I'm Skeed. And this Kundalini activation energy. Prana. And Shakti. I'm just going to leave it with Prana and Shakti today. Just connect. Let it connect to my hands. Connect to the whole field I'm creating. On the screen, your choice. So whilst you're connecting today, I want to discuss a little bit more shadow work and negative entities. The reason why I want to discuss this today is because I've had several questions about this and there was one quite specific question in the comments. So rather than answering now, I thought I'd make a video about it. So we have negative entities that are external entities that can attach to us. And then we have negative parts of our subconscious that perhaps talk to us, they might even have their own voice, or they might represent as negative loops. So what do I mean? So for example, you could have a negative loop that is sort of stress. So whenever you get to a stage, you know, you're having a couple of restful days and relaxed and and then you start having, let's say, negative dreams, not necessarily nightmares, but bad dreams. Uh, and you sort of wake up stress in the morning. Is that a negative entity or is that part of your shadow? Well, that's of course part of your shadow. It's a stress that is somewhere deep in your core belief system saying that you need to be stressed. That stress is mistakenly actually acting, trying to protect you because it's what you're used to. And your subconscious wants to bring you to a state of what you're used to, to keep you within your safety bubble. So if your program, unfortunately, is part of your, your, your bubble, your program, there's stress, then every time you relax, it's going to bring you back to that stress. And you have to find that part during your shadow work, take it out, feed the demon, whether it's directly with the energy, whether it's by talking to it, like the 321 shadow by Ken Wilber, whichever system you want to use. And then you deal with the shadow, you deal with that part of your subconscious and you keep dealing with it until it stops happening. So then there is the other side of negative entities, because some people are like, well, how do you tell whether it's a negative entity or just a part of me? Whilst you are in a dualistic frame of mind, whilst you still believe good and bad are real things rather than points of view, and whilst you still have fear, a fear-based system, then you open yourself up to, call it energy attacks, or negative entities attaching to you. So an energy attack is, okay, there are a few people that can do it on purpose, but they're few and far between. Most energy attacks you get is someone talking badly about you. And then, because that gets thrown out into the cosmic consciousness that we're all connected to 
it can come and find you and can, you could say, attach to you or create a puncture in your energy body. They're just two different ways to describe it. Therefore, it creates a puncture in your energy body and so you're sort of losing energy. So for that, if it happens, then you just have to take the energy, this energy, take it into your energy body, not into your body, not your physical body, your energy bodies. And just scan around, finding any dark spots, any weak spots, and just sort of with your your mind basically with your imagination with your intuition with your intention focus on that area and just say this energy is just going to heal the punctures in my energy body you can let it flow and you can let it do it by itself so whether we call it a puncture or whether we call it something attached to me then if you think it's attached to you then you say and just disattach this negative energy to me. Now whilst these two things are slightly different, we can still use the same tactics to get them away. By doing this, taking the energy, we can get rid of them. So how do we stop these entities coming back? How do we stop these energy attacks happening? The best protection for this, first of all, is to make sure we don't come from a place of fear. So erase all fear-based thinking. Easier said than done. So what's the other way? Well, if we concentrate on our heart chakra and we expand our heart energy and we literally bring it out of our heart and bring it in front of us here and we place it here, that energy is a very highly protective energy. And that will stop these things happening to you. There are other practices that aren't Kundalini practices. The um, We can use the technique, the banishing ritual of the lesser pentagram, the golden dawn type of thing. It's a great little technique that we can use. Look it up on, Google, on, on YouTube. And you can use that technique if you wish. At the end of the day, it's, it's doing the same thing. At the end of the day, we need to work on our shadows. We need to work building our heart chakra. And that will stop the vast majority of these things happening. Obviously, if your heart chakra is open, things aren't going to attach to you. It's going to be a lot harder to puncture your energy body but it's always good you know every couple of days once a week just to do a revision connect either with your own energy or to one of my videos take the energy and just fix those things how do you tell the difference between the two well, very simply, if you try the techniques, fixing the punctures and stuff, and that doesn't work, then you know it's going to be something in your shadow that you need to work on. It is really that simple. Any attachments, any energy attacks are not nearly as strong as your own subconscious mind. It's that simple. The more we move out of fear, the more we move out of duality, the more we open our heart chakra, the more protection we're going to have from these things. But then there's also 
something I've mentioned before, the Ujjayi breath. So for example, an energy attack can come from having an argument. So if you get in an argument or in a stressful point during your day, if you can start very simply, throat breathing. Now, if it's in the middle of an argument, you're like, <laughs> people are going to think you're crazy, especially if the argument's with your boss. But okay, in that situation, you focus the attention here, but you don't make the sound. So you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So it's just in the argument, if your boss is telling you off or whatever, just breathe in through your nose. Focus the attention here. Breathe out through the mouth. Obviously, the slower and longer the breath out, the better. By doing this type of breathing, you don't let the negative energy of that argument attach to you. If you breathe in and out through your nose, you do let it attach to you. So, to recap, open your heart chakra, work on removing your dualistic mind, work on removing fear. That's all shadow work. To prevent energy attacks, then work opening the heart chakra. Work bringing the energy out of your heart. Do regular clearings. In difficult situations, in through your nose, out through your mouth. When you're doing the shadow work, also in through the nose, out through the mouth. I hope that answers how to deal with negative entities, negative voices, of any type. You just two simple systems to keep working on. Now of course if it is in your subconscious, it does take more work, shadow work. If you do the shadow work when combining with this energy, it can speed up the process great. And so you just have to keep working at it with this energy. Find the bit, find the trigger, find the stress point. Bring it out. You don't have to find the root cause of it. You just have to find examples of it. Bring it out, put it in front of you, feed it the energy. Thank it for being there. Make it your friend, let it go. Basic demon feeding. just keep working on it and working on it and working on it until it releases. And there's voices in your head. But how do I know if it's my higher self trying to protect me? Hmm, that's another question. If it's your higher self, your higher self does not repeat itself. Your higher self will say something to you once, and that's it. So if it happens only once, then it could be your higher voice trying to protect you. I've had lots of conversations with people, you know, things like they're driving down the road and they just hear this voice in the back of their head, stop now, pull over to the side of the road. So they do. It's a gut feeling, they have to stop. Um, and then 30 seconds later, in front of them, there's a car crash, which they would have hit. Or, don't get on this flight today. Or, I, I mean, I've had these feelings as well. That's your higher voice, that's your intuition. It says it once, you get this feeling, and you react. If it keeps going over and over and over and over and over, day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, that's not your higher self. That's part of your programming. That's a shadow. It's ego. Trying to keep you safe, which is one of the 
big things we have to deal with when dealing with your shadow. If you fight it, if you try and push it away, it's not going to work. It's going to hold on tighter. You have to accept it like a good friend, like it for being there, give it your energy, and let it go. Accepting it is part of you, accepting that it's been there for your benefit. Might be messed up, that's fine. But you accept that it's messed up, you accept that it's there to help you, so you can release it. And then you release any resistance to releasing it. It's one of the great things when using this energy whilst doing it. The resistance. Whilst the first process is there, the hard part is when you get the resistance to letting it go. If you connect to the energy, you will find the resistance is low to non-existent, and it goes far easier, more easily. If you wish to try that, at the end of this video, play the video again, turn the sound down, and try. Find a part and part of your shadow that you want to deal with, a problem. Connect to the energy, feed your demon. Or vice versa, connect to the energy and fix the punctures in your energy body. Or if you call it an entity, to push away the entity. The energy, you don't push it away, the energy does. I hope this has answered people's questions about this topic. For those that needed it answered, I hope you go away and practice it. Use the energy to help you move on in your path. Namaste.